Did you know there's a difference between server core and server desktop experience? Stay tuned to find out more. Oh, it's Blackburn and Tech, we're leveling up. From networking paths to systems we trust. Let's break it down, let's build it back. Together we're learning, right on track. So server core essentially is literally just that. It's the core of the, the operating system. And when you go to log into it, you basically get a command prompt. And that's looks like all you get. But it is there's so many use cases that a lot of people don't think about. It does use a lot fewer system resources and runs more effect effectively and can have less vulnerabilities because it doesn't have to worry about all of the updates and uh, GUI features. Typically this is done like if you're trying to use like PowerShell or you're using some other way to manage the server, that's typically when you'll do a situation like this. The most common places that this is used is like in domain controllers, Hyper-V hosts, because you don't typically need a full GUI and web servers, some database servers, and it's higher security environments do prefer it. Now, when would you choose to use a full desktop experience. Maybe you have a remote desktop server. It would definitely be helpful to have a desktop for that. As well as maybe you have particular applications such as an SQL exchange or your own custom applications. Most of the time you have to be able to use it and interact with it on the server itself. Also file and print servers definitely come in handy to have the GUI aspects of it, but there is other numerous reasons to use it. So, yes, it is a little more resource intensive, but it all depends on what you're using it for. Some people come down to what is best for you. If you're only spinning up a web server, do you need a full GUI? Probably not, because you're going to be managing it from another server or your own desktop, or you're going to be managing it in another way. And same as like your Hyper-V host, they don't really need to have a full GUI, but some people prefer it to have it. It comes down to preference on that time and what you would like. Well, I hope this has been informative for you, and thank you for watching Blackburn in Tech. If you wouldn't mind, if you like this content, give a thumbs up if you do. Thumbs down if you don't, that's okay too. Feel free to leave a comment. Would appreciate any and all comments that come in to help the channel. Thanks, and thank you again for watching Blackburn in Tech.